Hey, what is going on everyone? It is Blue and we're back with another video. Last night I was able to do some raid testing on the beta and you guys, we had so much fun. It is good to be raiding again. I haven't uh, raided for months now because um, I really haven't touched retail in a really long time. Um, so we had a blast with this. I came in quite unprepared. Um, I haven't really researched any of these bosses so it was a learning experience. Um, but luckily, you know, we kind of yeah. progressed together. Uh, we tested three bosses last night for an hour each. Um, I don't think we knew of how long we'd be on each boss until the first boss happened. So unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of pulls with this first boss. Um, some things that I noticed with playing Feral. Um, I actually ran uh, specific gear where I just manipulated my stats. I went and I just leatherworked blue gear, made it all crit. Uh, Mastery. And then I ran the Apex Predator build. Now, this is the only fight that you're going to see, which is, um, from my understanding, a cleave fight. So I actually ran Primal Wrath in this one, um, and then just tried to funnel all of my damage um, into Call, this individual right there. From my understanding, right? Um, and then you're going to see this little thing on my, on my, uh, my image. Um, that's just to get rid of a bleed that happens from call, um, which was still difficult to figure out. Apparently, it just goes on two targets. Those targets that it's supposed to be on are supposed to go to the purple marker and the green marker, as you can see right here. And a boomerang will hit them, and it will go from one target to the other and come back. And if you're in that area, you'll get hit by uh, the boomerang and get a bleed, which can only be taken off by that meteor. Um, right here, we start funneling this other ad. Um, he starts gaining a damage increase buff if you don't finish him off, so we decided to try and do that. Um, for Feral Cleave, at least with these ads, the ads are kind of all over the place. Usually with my dungeon damage, um, the cleave that I like to do is a lot of spreading rakes, you know, um, buffing with Primal Wrath, spreading rakes. Um, and I wasn't really able to do this because the ads are moving quite often. Um, but I think for Feral AoE, uh, just a little lackluster in general uh, compared to some of the other specs. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on now. Um, this fight, uh, I guess I don't really know the name. I think it's the dance fight, right? Um, this one, I believe you're actually just supposed to funnel damage into one target. Um, I am on the wrong target. The, the target that I'm on needs to be interrupted. Um, so for a, for a few attempts, I just stuck on that target just to interrupt. Um, you need about either two people and sometimes three people. So we just said, hey, this is the third. We need a hunter or whatever. Um, you can see that one went out and it just does a raid wide uh, damage to everybody, uh, which is pretty annoying. When we first did this boss, um, there's a mechanic that uh, uh, three targets at once will get a, a debuff on them. And what they will need to do is they'll need to jump three times to rid themselves of the debuff. If they do not jump at all, they end up dying. Uh, when we first tested this, the jumps do like 12k each, and you have to do three of them. Um, and, you know, that's 36k. Uh, a lot of these people in the raid, uh, that's that's around where their health is. Mine's around 40k. So it was just crazy healing. Um, and then halfway, probably through this, this uh, the hour that we had on the bosses, um, I think Blizzard ended up nerfing him. So the jump damage was, uh, when you jumped, it did minimal damage. But it was just crazy healing, and we just couldn't really, uh, you know, we really just couldn't uh, sustain ourselves very long in this fight. Um now this is where I noticed the Feral single target. So Feral is pretty decent at single target. Obviously I'm on the wrong target here. Uh, so, you know, it wasn't really beneficial. I, I, I think uh, someone ended up saying later that um, I should probably put my target on the main target because uh, these guys end up in healing anyways. So that's why you got a funnel damage in one. Uh, so once I figured that out, I was like, yeah, what am I doing here? Um, now, but the thing that I want, the biggest gripe that I have overall in general um, is my first time raiding and it's really not a big gripe but um, there's just too much animations you know if you think about everybody has their new uh, covenant ability 
some of these abilities you can see and it's it's quite annoying like I don't mind if everybody can see their own ability I'm totally fine with that um, but not only covenant ability but you got to think in the talent trees sometimes the talent trees do something um, for Kyrian specifically it's really really huge for Feral um, when you go Kyrian I think it's Palgos uh, what he does is he says hey these little orbs fall off you and whenever you pick up an orb it's a huge increase um, I didn't check specifically with my stats, um, weighted a little bit higher because I'm I guess I'm in raid gear now. Uh, but generally on the beta with lower gear, lower mastery, um, picking up one of those orb is increasing my mastery by like 20%, right? Um, and there's three orbs that fall off. Um, they only last for like three seconds and then I gotta pick them up again. I'm not sure if it's this fight, but just kind of be aware. See this like AOE right here? <clears throat> That's not needed, and, and I think, yeah, there's my orb on the ground. It's just too much chaos going on, um, and I really hope that's not um, something that's there. You know, and when you first start playing in Shadowlands, it's it's like, oh crap, like, what is this, you know? And then you kind of start realizing, okay, if it's a light blue, then it's probably from your friend, right? Uh, but in general, it's it's I found it really quite annoying, um, and I didn't like it. Now, something else that I found out about Feral is playing in single target. And sorry, my kids are screaming in the background. That's that's them all day. Um, it was, you know, and this probably comes with just lack of raiding, first time raiding, you know, just having fun with it. Um, but, man, I was really relying on just pure... One second, one second. Okay, sorry about that, my kids. <laughs> my kids get a little crazy sometimes. Um, okay, so what I was going to say about the Blood Talents proc, um, I was really relying just on just history of what I'm doing with Blood Talents, you know. Um, but honestly, in the raid, I forgot. I forgot to reserve my energy. Um, after your bites, you gotta, you got to... Um, conserve your energy again to proc blood towns and i just forgot i was just like oh yeah let's just go in here let's just do this Ooh, maybe i'll rake this guy and you're going to see a lot of these i don't have my blood talents up right um so that was a big no no right there over captain points to get my blood towns and that could have been fixed just by you know conserving my energy to begin with um so i probably would have been doing better with uh, a different build feral frenzy Something like that. Like, if you are not going to do, and this you're going to come out in the logs, you know, it's going to be really hard for me to check myself because, you know, I don't know how these individuals' damage are comparing to everybody else that's doing this. You know, this is probably, I would say this is just more of a, a chill group, by the way. Um, but, yeah, just just remember, in dungeons, I usually don't have a problem. I'm, I'm really focused on my blood towns. But for whatever reason in the raid, I was kind of more just like, oh, this, you know, like, what's, you know, this is a boss. Let's, let's like, make sure, you know, we're on him and we're doing this, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, I probably struggled quite a bit um, that a lot of my bites were not buffed with Blood Towns. So I probably would have been doing better elsewhere. See here, you see somebody else has those blue orbs. I can't pick up those blue orbs. So I got to figure out which ones are mine and which ones are theirs. Um, so I don't really know why that is, you know, why, if, if somebody's got some blue orbs, why I'm seeing that, um, but it's, it's just a real nuisance, I think. Okay, so on to this boss, um, to be honest, we struggled quite a bit with this boss, um, and really, it's actually, it seems to be, we didn't make a very far in progression. Uh, this boss actually seems to be really fun. Um, it seems to be a burn, a DPS kind of check for the boss. Um, but but we struggled quite a bit. Um, the thing, the gripe here too is kind of just the animations that you see or um, the effects that you see. This boss is going to put chains on specific people. And... Um, you have to find a partner. You have to be with your partner the whole time. Um, identifying your partner was really difficult. Now, looking back on the clips, um, 
it was apparent who was my partner. But for whatever reason, I don't know why it is you see people start saying stuff over their head, um, which makes it really difficult to find your partner. For a lot of these polls, I would say, I was actually partnered with uh, somebody in the range or the healers. I guess in that, uh, if that ever happens, I would expect... So my partner got stunned, I gotta wait for him. I would expect that the range needs to needs to tell because they can see easier and then they just move up to you. Um, but if there was one poll where I'm looking back to try and find who I'm who I'm with and I can't um, because they're saying something above their head. Um, so I think that's a little weird. I wish that in the beginning you only see your shackles and your partner shackles like you see right now. Um, but that's just not the case. When the fight begins everybody has shackles and you see everybody's shackles and you know instead of having a marker above your head it would be nice to just be like okay I only need to figure out who has the shackles um, but other than that this one is a straight single target fight um, again Farrell's doing really good uh, or you know relative to the raid that I was in I was doing okay um, it's only around four point something DPS um, now usually that's not very good and I kind of already knew that I could do four point something DPS so we'll just have to wait to see what logs say about some of these people that are actually pushing um, some some really big numbers. Uh, you know, not to diss on anybody in the group, uh, but you know, they're people that are going to be pushing the class to the best. Um, yeah, um, something something kind of bad to say that that um, that I noticed about Feral though is you're going to be seeing the majority of your your damage is coming from bites, especially in single target. Around 40 to 50 percent of your damage is coming from bites, and uh, that can be a good or bad thing. Um, and what I mean by that is, since so much of your damage is coming from your bites, you kind of start to be an RNG type of character, where you may have really, really good pulls and you may have really, really bad pulls, and it is all dependent on if your bite crits um, and that kind of doesn't feel good so you could be like man on this poll I did a lot of DPS or I jumped to the top of the meters really quickly and then on this one you know I, I actually got some more ferocious bite procs from my apex predator and I'm still not doing very good and it is just extremely dependent on if those bites proc um, so you see the boss kind of ran into a pole, he does a charge. That's a mechanical where you have to get rid of one of these pillars and then you have to soak one of those things. Um, our group didn't do a very good job soaking, so we really didn't get too much further than this. We just hold Tim's look like this. This last one is going to see where I'm um, t tied with a range and I try to look and because they're saying something, I can't see anything. So you let me know if you can see it. Yeah, I mean, watching again, I can see it. Um, but that's it, you guys. I really enjoyed the testing. It was really good. Um, we'll have to see what Feral looks like in the future um, compared to everybody else's logs. But that's it. Thanks so much for those of you guys joining me on Twitch. Um, I hope you guys have a very good day. Take it easy. Peace.